Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Micromonsters. This week we're going to show you a project we've been working on for quite a while now. It's actually a musical instrument and it's our entry for the Maplin's Microbit Music Competition. So what we've built is a doorbell. You put this microbit outside on the wall on your house and when you press the A button, our doorbell here will play a tune. Some of you may recognise that, it's a piece by Mike Oldfield called Tubular Bells and it plays it five times in a row and then stops. And actually what we've built here is a, a servo controlled water xylophone. You can see these little blue things are servo motors and we've connected them to a servo controller which is this thing here which is run by the microbit and we helped write the driver and put that on um, out on the internet for people to use for MicroPython to drive this. So you can run 10 servo motors off one micro bit by connecting it into that. Obviously at the moment we've only got half our musical instrument full. Um, we could fill up the other side and play a much more complicated tune. We tried to play Star Wars, which is obviously one of our favourite tunes. You may have seen our episode on how to play Star Wars using a, a speaker on the micro bit. But uh, it's got such a range of notes, it's difficult to find glasses big enough uh, to kind of make the right sound. But you can see on top of each servo, we've stuck a little beater and that's made out of a peg, just a traditional peg with the bottom cut off and then stuck to the servo bit. And then that strikes. Our glass is full of water there. So I'm going to show you kind of how we made this and everything. Uh, and you can see how we constructed it and put it together. It kind of took some of a day playing around with it. Uh, and choosing the right tunes taken a while as well, but we'll go on to that and show you that. The first step was to cut off a part of the peg using a hacksaw. Then we glued on the top of the servo using a hot glue gun. Then we cut a piece of plastic trunking to a suitable size to fit our board. After that, we stuck our two pieces onto the board. Then we pushed each servo into the gap. Then, once we had connected everything together, our water xylophone was complete. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.